Another way to change our view of the data in Excel is to use hide and unhide. Now what hide and unhide allow us to do is to remove certain information from view without deleting it. So that's important that we're just hiding it temporarily, we're not actually deleting the information. So let me give you an example. Let's say that in your job role, the priority really doesn't matter. That's not something that you're concerned with. So when you're looking at this table, uh, you just rather not have this priority column in the way. If I was to right click this column, and what I did to highlight that whole column was I came up to the column label, waited for my cursor to change to a black down arrow, and I just clicked right there on the column label that highlights the whole column. If I right clicked on it and said delete, I would be deleting all of this information. So it would be gone for me if I saved it and I forwarded it to someone else. Uh, they wouldn't have that information anymore. But if I just want to do it temporarily and I want to preserve that information in case someone else wants to see it, I can just come down here and click on hide instead. So you can click on hide and now that column is hidden. It's not showing in view, but you can see up here in the column labels it goes from E to G, so F is missing. And just to show you that um, that signifies there's a hidden column, let me come over here and I'm going to delete row B. We'll undo this, but I'm just going to delete column B. I click on delete. All that information, remember it was project ID, it's gone. But it still goes from A to B. So that means I deleted it. I just deleted that information, but Excel will always maintain the correct order along the top. The fact that it jumps out of order from D to F means that there's still something there, I just can't see it. So I'm going to undo to bring back my deleted column. And if I want to reveal or unhide my hidden column, I just come to here and I say E to G, so I'm clicking and holding down to highlight both of those. Right click and come down here to unhide at the bottom of the menu. If I click on unhide, that reveals my column. So I need to highlight from E to G when F was hidden because I need to cover over that whole area to make sure that it gets it. Let me show you another example. That was with columns. We can also do it with rows. For instance, maybe I don't like this uh, banner along the top. Now if I right click and delete, it's gone, but I still have a row number one. So that means I deleted it, and it's not coming back if I save this and forward it. So I'm going to undo that. Instead, I'm going to right click and say hide. Now you can see, no matter how hard I try and scroll up to the top, there's no uh, row one showing. So I'm going to highlight row two, and uh, if I just highlight row 2 and right click and say unhide, nothing happens, right? Because remember, I've got to highlight over the range of where it's missing. So in this case, I've got to click on row 2 and just drag up so that I'm highlighting more than just row 2. Uh, I dragged up here into the column labels. Now it is highlighted over where I have it hidden. So I'm going to right click and unhide, and there's row number 1. It's back. So you can see it's pretty useful if you just want to change the view, especially temporarily. Uh, let me show you another example. Maybe you're working on a project. You just need to match up project IDs with their priority. So you just want to get rid of these three columns in the middle, but you don't want to delete them permanently. So instead, I'm just going to click and drag to highlight C through E. And I'm going to right click and hide. And that will hide all three at the same time. You can see it jumps from B to F. So to restore those, I just click on B, drag over to F, right click, and unhide. Now one final thing, if you're not sure where the hidden rows are or the hidden columns are, or maybe there's a lot of them and you don't want to take the time to go through and find all of them, come up here to this little triangle button in the corner. If you click that, I left click that, it highlights the entire worksheet. So that's a nice option. So that since the whole worksheet is highlighted, if I come over and I right click and say, um, well in this case I don't have that, let me come over here and right click over here. If I click in the column labels or the row labels, I can say unhide. It'll unhide any column that's hidden if I click on the column labels or any row that's hidden if I click here.